Hi crafty friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Lillian here to share a design team kit project share from Coca Rosa Studios. Um, they reached out, asked for a couple of, pro if I wanted to partner with them to create a couple of uh, projects and of course I was delighted to so this is um, the die that I'm going to share today so this is a, a honey pot honey jar so here's the jar itself it lends to adding you know you know how you cover the jars with you know either a little paper or some material and then it has um, it has a little bow which you could totally add a 3d bow or ribbon and then of course it comes with the jar lid and the oozing honey here as you can see i try not to like separate them just because when they're tiny pieces i'm like ooh, i don't want to lose them um so i tend to keep them together unless i have to right so let me share with you I've been playing with the honey pot in various ways, just different paper. So um, I have several projects that I'm not done with, but I do want to share the ones that um, I do have um, available. So definitely been playing with the honey pot. Um, I don't have a lot of fabric, but I ordered some to go with it. So I was playing just with the doilies. Um, you know how usually the honey pot um they they you know you put the pot over with the fabric so i was trying to do that effect um and i was like okay i think i think i'm getting there um and then totally do a 3d um or fabric bow but i haven't done that so i was just kind of playing around um with it you know uh with a different paper too but then another thing that i started playing with you know how our sewing machine has different stitchings so mine has a honeycomb stitching and i did this so in this one i cut you know the honey jar and then it does this embossing i don't know if you could see it here it does this embossing you know to give it that that jar effect and so what i did with this one is i cut it and then i laid it on top certainly could have popped it i did pop with one of my projects so i'll show you that in a bit but when i did this and the paper as you could see is this honeycomb i decided to um stitch honeycomb on it as well and i'm digging um how it came out i'm also thinking like oh where could i incorporate it you know, but I mean, I'm using the honey jar. So I thought, oh, this is perfect. So I'll see how I use it. I just thought I'd share, um, you know, just recently kind of playing around with the stitching that my machine has. So I thought that was kind of fun. But this is my first project share. So I'm using that um, All the Bees, I think it's called, pad. And this is part of that paper. It has this little sunflower paper. So I thought it was perfect. And it's such an easy die to use. I mean, it's only three pieces, right? I mean, you don't really have to use the lid if you don't want to. But it's so easy to use. So, of course, I did the elegant nesting dies um, here for my tag and then what I did is I cut out one of the jars and then a second one and I cut you know on that embossing um outline and I just added a little yellow shading here it's been a while that I've done that and then I popped it so you know to kind of give it a 3d effect and so of course I had to do my honey in an using glitter gold and I put the lid and then because of the you know the paper had some flowers of course I had to do these cute little sunflowers and just added this quick cute little sentiment suite and that was it I mean it was so simple and I think it looks so cute but and it was quick to make again you have three pieces um super easy to make and I I think it turned out super cute. What do you guys think? Yes. And then my other one. And so this pad, you know, kind of, I mean, you work with the yellows, the whites, the, the, the gold, the black. Um, but I went the other way because, of course, we like light colors, right? 
And so this is my other project, which I am in love with. And so here's the honey jar as well. So this is doodle bug paper that I've had a while. So, um, you know, I use the elegant nesting dies, which are from KS Craft, but I popped them, which I didn't do with this one. Um, but I popped just, just in a subtle way, I popped them. And I just love these colors. And then the doodle bug paper. So I have this doodle bug paper with the little bees. And so that's what I cut the jar, the honey jar. And then I cut a blue one out because I wanted to overlay, um, you know, so I could place the sentiment there. And it was perfect because there was no guessing game. It was just cut the top and boom, there you go. Um, and then the honey I used like a, a shimmy gold and rather than putting the you know the jar lid uh like i did with this one straight i kind of did it to the side because the bee is hungry and it's trying to get in and get the honey <laughs> um but i added of course the sunflowers just because it just goes so well i think um, and yes, I fussy cut it, these little bees from the paper just to add them. And I'm thinking I might add a little bling on these little flowers. It's like calling me and maybe even here. What do you think? Um, but super cute. Look at how easy it is, you know, the jar. And then so easy to no guessing game on the on the label i just ran another one and just cut it and again i had this sentiment and this little um cut apart or ephemera from angela's um um sorry not angela gloria's kit um and so it's perfect how so how adorable are these what do you guys think uh definitely next is a memory dex card can you not see it there so perfect and I really am loving the slight tilt um, of the of the lid so I will link down a Coco Rosa Studios um, store go check them out I'll give you the direct link to the honey pot and remember there's that coupon code that gives you 25% off so please 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 use it um, that way you get a great discount and um, so thanks for watching and I will catch you on my next project share. Bye.